Mayor is in an awkward situation, especially after the other council members endorsed his opponent, Cindy Chavez, during the election. And now he hopes to convince that same city council to give up its power to fill those vacant seats. And we are going to continue to organize. San Jose Mayor elect Matt Mahan, surrounded by supporters, held his first public event in his new role, pushing to have special elections to fill two crucial city council seats vacated by him in District 10 and Sylvia Arenas in District 8. The council has the power to appoint replacements for the remainder of the two year terms. And having just 10 politicians vote, to choose the leaders in these diverse districts is the opposite of diversity. It is divisive. Emphasizing the diversity theme, various community leaders from those districts also called for special elections. Yes, these elections may cost money, but in long run, the special interest groups will cost us a lot more. Still, pro-labor groups such as Working Partnerships USA and the Santa Clara County Democratic Party, which supported Chavez, say special elections are expensive, running into the millions, as well as time-consuming, and that those delays hurt the people in those districts, especially underrepresented communities. But Mahan says his position is not about the council supporting his opponent during the election. There's just too much room for special interests to influence who's on the short list. They have the relationships with elected officials. They're going to put forward the names of people who they think will be sympathetic to their cause. Mahan says he would support interim appointments if that replacement would take a pledge not to run for that office. The city council plans to take up the issue at its December 5th meeting and hopes to make a final decision two weeks later. In San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News. All right, Robert, thank you.